hi everyone um, I'm just gonna do a quick video I got a late message last night from Caroline Matthews who let me know that uh, Sam Tesnutkins had um, tagged me in a video that he started where a few resellers go through some of their like two, 2015 what it's been like um, so he sort of forced me out of my incognito fake profile of Rachel Jones that I've got going on. Um, so <clears throat> this will probably be the only time that I'll actually be on camera. Um, but I don't think I could do the video any other way, really. Um, so yeah, um, I've put my sh eBay shop on holiday mode at the moment. I saw someone say that they were going to do this the other day and I thought it was a bit mad actually. I wasn't going to do it at all, but I feel so run down and so exhausted. Um, I've got a lot of family members coming up on Tuesday. Um, where I live is tends to be the place where all the family members congregate. Um, it's going to be very stressful and just lots of other things going on um, at the same time. So, yeah, I'm going to put it on holiday mode and then I think I'm going to open it back up on the 24th of December um, and then hop back on it then um, because I'm assuming people won't expect me to be posting it on the 24th or the 25th. Um, and so, yeah, um, FBA is running in the background in the meantime. Um, I've only put it on holiday mode because I feel okay with FBA going and I don't have to do anything um, about that. Um, so yeah, that's just my update at the moment. <clears throat> so I'm not going to do any eBay today. I'm just going to relax. And uh, yeah, um, anyway, so these are the questions that um, Sam has uh, given. Um, so this was in within 2015. So um, best pickup in 2015. Um, I'm assuming that this is, hang on a second. You're right, Chrissy. <laughs> hang on. Uh, okay, sorry about that. Uh, my sister love, lives above and um, <clears throat> our house at the moment. There's a load of <coughs> um, grant contracting work going on in the street. Uh, they're really like renovating the area. However, um, yeah, they get a lot of contractors in and I think they pay them too little because they never stick around. They're always changing. And um, when they come into your house, they just don't care. And uh, our carpets have just been ruined. So um, I've been doing rug doctor. I've been doing the rug doctor all day yesterday uh, in every room of the house. And so now uh, my sister, Carissa, she's got it upstairs and she's just trying to figure out how that's working. Um, so back to the question. So, um, Best pickup. Um, so the best pickup for me, money-wise, would have been this dollhouse that I paid ten pound for. I sold the dollhouse. It was either one hundred and thirty or one hundred and ten um, a few months back, um, and it also had a car with it, which I sold separately, and I got probably about fifteen for that one. Um, so that was a good. Um, that was probably my best money-wise. I know some people have had crazy you know, uh, returns like <clears throat> uh, Ryan James picked up that Louis Vuitton case and got ridiculous money for it. Um, and, you know, there's a few others who've only invested like one or two pounds and you end up getting plus sort of four or five hundred. I've not had anything like that, unfortunately, but still. Um, my favourite pickup was probably Ghettoopoly. Um, so I didn't know about this game until I saw it on the Facebook group. So it was in the back of my mind to look out for it and it was at car boot in summer and um it was like a nice family you wouldn't expect them to have this game um and yeah so um just asked i just saw it i was like oh my god um how much do you want for that you know trying to keep my cool um and it was just a little girl and she was like two pounds i was like yeah that's brilliant that sold on fba uh, a few weeks ago for about £80. And that was my favourite pickup. Um, sourcing fail, probably just the same sort of things that most people buy and pick, you know, and you find out it's not actually worth anything. 
one specifically was a local pickup actually and it was like 150 hoover bags um for 10 pounds um and i just thought oh I'll, I'll give that a go i've got the space for it um i've made my money back but i've still got probably about 120 hoover bags just lying around um yeah so that was pretty much a fail they're going very slowly um <clears throat> And then question three, best investment your business this year other than stock? <coughs> I ran out of um, brown tape the other day when I was buying some more off eBay. If you bought a certain amount, you got a free like tape gun. I've been having so much fun with this. Um, when you spend so much time on one of these as well, trying to find the end of the seller tape, it just drives me crazy. So I'm loving them at the moment. And then the same as what Sam said last night as well, um, the lighting setup really has made a, um, a big difference to my photos um, and hopefully that's just attracting more buyers. Um, <clears throat> so that's that one. Um, best advice you've received from the community this year? There's been loads on Facebook. Facebook's been great um, for keeping you going when you've got problems or even when you want to just do a, a mini brag about some success that you've had. Um, I love seeing them. Um, it just sort of keeps you motivated and, and keep going. But specifically, um, one stands out in mind. I don't know um, if, I don't think Jonathan Butler watches YouTube videos, but he has been a massive help to me. Um, I had one case where um, I had a, a crazy buyer and um, she wasn't happy, I offered her a full refund or um, the parts um, that had, had gone missing in the post. Um, and yeah, it just, she got very nasty and she was really odd. Um, anyway, so she left me negative feedback. Um, and then um, afterwards she was still like getting in touch with me she had been like stalking me on social media and stuff like this really weird um and um she was she was saying that she was going to leave personal information on my on the when you leave negative feedback you can do your first negative feedback and then you can leave another comment under that underneath if you're that type of person. Um, and yeah, so she left, um, she was saying, I'm gonna leave this personal information underneath your, underneath my feedback comment. Um, so I messaged Jonathan Butler, I was like, okay. <laughs> um, so this has happened. And his advice was let her, just let her leave the personal information. As soon, if this helps, hopefully someone in the future, if you get another crazy, as soon as anyone leaves a personal information uh, type of, <clears throat> like a link, to anything as well, um, Facebook, whatever, um, you can just call up eBay and just say, my personal information is on there. I said things, they weren't, but I just said my national insurance was on there. I said photos of my daughter was on there. And yeah, uh, they removed it within about 20 minutes of that phone call. So that was great advice because I managed to get that, the whole negative feedback removed. And um, yeah, um, and she messaged me afterwards and she was like, feeling smug are we are we um <laughs> just dying to write back i didn't like respond to her at all because she was crazy uh just really wanted to write back like yeah i feel smug as fuck actually yeah um yeah so that was that that was probably my best advice um the fifth um question funniest strangest boot fair experience of the year I was trying to think of this for ages last night. I couldn't think of anything to say. And um, just one second. And, um, <clears throat> and then I remembered. Um, so my partner, Jamie, always comes uh, to the boot fairs. He does it as well. And um, he likes to negotiate a lot, annoyingly so. Um, and this woman... There was this one store where he saw articulate and she was on the end of the car boot row. So she had like an L shaped table. So he was at one end and I was at the other. I don't think she realized that we were together. And um, she had uh, just a board game articulate. Uh, and she asked, I can't remember the certain price, but I think three, four pounds maybe. 
um, and there was this tiny little nick on the box and he just went oh it's, it's got a little nick on it would you do it for like two pounds or something like that and she was just not happy about that at all she got really like frustrated with him so he ended up not getting it and then we were walking off afterwards and I hadn't heard any of this going on um and so I was like where's where's the game um and so he told me so I went back to go and get it and she was like would you believe someone has just said that this game isn't worth the money um she just started having go at me about um about Jamie not realizing that we were together and I was just like yeah he's a bit of a dick to be honest um so yeah um that was the funniest boot fair experience boot fair bugbear I've not heard the term bugbear before but I'm assuming it's something that sort of <clears throat> winds you up um, probably the same as everyone else, like when people get in just before you, um, they're just a little bit faster. Um, that's annoying. Uh, there was one where it's like, oh, this lady, she's a dealer, um, and sometimes she still has stuff that's worth buying, there's still money in it for you. Um, she had a ton of Playmobil, and this guy was just taking absolutely forever just going through all the Playmobil with her. And I was just sat there waiting for them to finish. And then, oh, he just ended up getting pretty much everything that I wanted. Um, that was really frustrating. Um, but it happens. I sure I've done it to other people. Um, the seventh question. Um, best feedback of the year. I have nothing really. Um, I like seeing the ones where they sort of say, oh, this is my grandchild, my child. Um, they're really happy. I like seeing them ones. I did get one once that just said it's a real item i'm guessing they got scammed or something and maybe the item didn't show up but i'm glad to provide real items um yeah um so the eighth question product that surprised you this year um links everyone's probably seen the nyx bolo not bolo uh bolo like rolo um and so that was that's an interesting one and also um, VHS tapes, um, Caroline does these. Um, I've had a bit of success with some VHS tapes. I didn't, I don't know who buys them these days. Uh, I'm not sure, but someone is, so that's quite surprising to me. And, uh, you know, old tape players and um, discs like this, you know, there is still a market for them. But again, yeah, that's, it is surprising to me. Um, so, um, bestseller this uh, fourth quarter for me it's just going to be Sylvanian families um yeah it's, it's just what it is <laughs> for me um and then aim for 2016 um is definitely to become more organized I just feel a bit all over the place at the moment with everything um if I could just have <clears throat> you know looking after olive and ebay that would be fine but there's just loads of other things especially with all this building work going on um doctor's appointments vets appointments it just seems constant all the time and i'm just battling just trying to list so yeah i'd love to just be able to get more organized i can't wait for the builders to get off the street and i'd also like to learn a lot more about ra um i get a lot of help off um someone with ra um sort of points me in the right direction um but i'd love to be able to do it more myself um yeah um so yeah i, I just sort of that's why i keep um messaging tez on how like you know when i was trying to figure out like how camel 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 works um and sales rank and things like that um yeah so now that i've done this tag video tez um I'll be on you all the time. Not like that. Uh, <laughs> I'll be questioning you all the time about things now. Um, so, yeah, that was my sort of 2015. Oh, I haven't thought of anyone else to tag. Um, I'm going to tag Margaret. Um, I really like watching her videos at the moment. Texas Gal Treasures. I feel like I can't say gal because I'm British. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to tag Margaret um, and hopefully she'll do uh, one of these videos as well. Okay, well, thanks, everyone, and I'll see you later. Bye.